Hey, oh, folks, this is 6.2b. Talking about n behaviors of polynomials. And it would be helpful to have your notes out for this part as well, as always. Remember, when we do this, we're looking at the degree. If it's a even, it's going to be either parabola upwards or downwards, depending on if the leading coefficient is positive or negative. And if the degree is odd, <clears throat> we're going to have a snake looking thing. And one will slither up from the bottom. It's a positive. And if the leading coefficient is negative, it will slither down into the right. So, complete the end behaviors for the following polynomials. So this is an even degree polynomial, something a parabola, parabolic shape, basically, and it's even uh, leading coefficient. So it's going to basically look like, whoa, <laughs> it's going to basically look like this. Now there's actually going to be some humps in the middle, perhaps, but it's going to look like that going up and up. So as x approaches positive infinity, which is on the, so we're talking about the x axis, so that's as it goes to the right, what does y do? Because remember, f of x means y. Well, that's going up forever in a positive direction. So y goes up in a positive direction as x goes in a positive direction. Now, as x goes to the left, which is in a negative direction, that's this way, because it does actually keep going left forever and ever. Maybe I kind of did a bad job making that look like a real... You know, it's going to get steep, but it does keep on moving to the left. It never goes straight up and down. As it moves to the left, what's the y value doing? Is it becoming very big positive or very small negative? It's becoming very big. Oh, crap. So that's a positive infinity. That is definitely a positive. Y is very positive here. It's going to keep on going more and more positive. There we are. Let's try this one. So now I have an odd degree, which is going to be like a snake. Now my leading coefficient is negative, so that means it's going to have like a negative slope of a linear line, except for, so it starts up high, and then it works its way down. It'll snake its way down into the right. So as <clears throat> x gets very large, very positive, what is y doing? It's getting very negative. Right on our y-axis, this is negative infinity. And so as x goes positive, f of x, which is our y, is very negative. Now as x goes to the left, as your x values get very negative, what happens to the y then? Well, y is very positive. So f of x, or your y, is very positive. Forever and ever, it's going up there as we go forever and ever to the left with a negative x. Here we have an even degree, so it's going to be like a parabola, but it's a negative leading coefficient, so it's going to be a downward facing parabola. So as we move to the right, which is positive infinity, we are going down, which is negative. And we're going down forever and ever, so that's why we have the infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, which is down to the, which is to the left, just to the left. As the graph goes to the left, what's happening to the y? Is it going up or down? It's going down, so that's also negative infinity. Odd degree, so I'm thinking a snake. Because it's a positive leading coefficient, it's going to snake up and to the right from the bottom left. <clears throat> Think of these as a linear function. When, it's, when we say it's a snake, it's essentially going to either be going up into the right, because the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to have like a positive linear slope, although it's going to be curvy. And here, when we have a snake with a negative leading coefficient, it's basically going to follow a negative trajectory, like a negative straight line, negative linear function. All right, so I'm looking at the red line, not necessarily the black line, but that is the general direction or gist. And so as x goes to the right, as x gets more and more positive, uh, as it goes other forever and ever, y, is that going to be big, a big positive value or a big negative value as we keep going up into the right? Big positive because it's going up. And as we go to the left on this function, as we slide in this case along to the left, we are going down. So it's negative 
forever and ever. All right, now we're graphing the following polynomial functions. So to figure out what y is when x is negative 2, you could use synthetic substitution, or you could just grab the red calculator or your calculator and enter in negative 2 in place of x. Notice how I used parentheses around the negative 2, and notice how I did a good job making sure the sneaky negative right there ends up in front of the parentheses as well. That's super important. And then you figure out what that is, and that goes right there. And you should get uh, ba -bum 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 -bum. 10. And then arrow up if you have my red calculator, or try to get back to what you just typed in on your calculator or phone or whatever, and change this to a negative 1. If, if you have a device that you can re-enter or change what you just entered in without having to retype everything, that would be worth it. There's apps that do it, and I think they're free. Play around with that if you're using a device. Um, so that becomes negative 1. And when you plug in negative 1 and hit equals, you should get... Bum, 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 bum. Three, and so on and so forth. Enter in zero, you get two. Enter in one, you get one. Enter in positive two, and you get negative six. So let's plot these points. Negative two, ten. I think that's ten high. Negative one, three. Mm, it's only eight. So I want to be like up there. Zero, two, one, one, two, negative six. Five, six is right there. All right. So graph the following polynomial function. So we are starting at this blue dot <clears throat> right here. Smoothly connect the dots. So this is a, and hopefully you're not, whoa, got a little curvy there. Oh, boy. <clears throat> let, me, let me do this one more time. This is not going to be perfect, folks, but I was hoping to show you one thing, and the way I'm doing this is not working out very well. Why wow, Mr. P is not doing the smoothest of lines today. Uh, so then here, this should be more of a... Let's see if I can fix this. I'm not going to erase it anymore. It should be more like the black line. Technically, this line should never be straight up and down. It looked that way, but technically it's moving down into the right, down into the right, down into the right. Um... So, folks, if you think about it, this should be a snake because it has an odd exponent and it's got a negative leading coefficient, so the snake should be going down and to the right. Just like what we were showing up above when we made those sketches to the right of our end behaviors. This one has an even exponent, so it's either a frowny face or a smiley face. Because the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to be a smiley face. So when you substitute a negative 2 for x here, you should get 33. And then when you substitute a negative 1, you should get uh, 3, 1, 3, 33. And when you plot these points, although some of them are not actually plottable, like that 33, that's crazy high. Uh, and it would look something like that. Oh boy. It should always be getting a little bit wider and wider, just a little bit, because it's super steep, but it's always working outside. Whereas mine was kind of pinching towards itself near those arrows. It's closing back in. That shouldn't happen. It should be a, a U. Um, and again, like we thought it would be, a, it should be a smiley face parabola type. And that's the general shape that we get here. As we explore more, you'll see that sometimes there's some humps or curves or bumps. But in general, it's going to go up and to the right and up and to the left forever and ever. Amen? Uh-huh.